Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Wrestlemania also known as Macalamania. And guys we are so close to updating our systems for 2K20 but we got two episodes remaining including this one tonight. Um, so we're going to start off with the GM AJ Smith. He's the last GM because Vito doesn't have a GM anymore. He is the uh, and a lot of you guys were asking can Vita come back. Absolutely. They can absolutely come back eventually. Um, just not right now. It can't come back. So uh, next year they have scheduled WTF um, back. So WTF, FLH, and uh, CTL will be the three brands of next year. And AJ is here to um, welcome us all to WrestleMania and McAllomania. He'll go over some of the matches tonight. And I don't know if we'll get a promo here or not. We'll see. So, uh, some big matches tonight. But I'm going to explain them after he does what's going on here. I'm going to be in the next match, in a matter of fact. So, Newsom's going to be commentating for you guys. You'll see. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is AJ Smith. And welcome to WrestleMania. And welcome to also known as Macau Mania. I want to welcome all the subscribers. I want to thank all the subscribers that have supported us through this 2K19 journey. May you support us through this 2K21 because our systems will be updating. But after we're done with the update and after we're done hiring back our superstars... We're going to bring it back better than ever because the Warlords will be gone after this WrestleMania is said and done. Now, I also want to tell you guys what's going on tonight because we got six matches for tonight. We got Gorgie versus Ken. We got Hawk versus Harambe for the Intercontinental. We have that eight-man ladder match. We have that United States Championship between Grandson Dumbbell and Thanos. We have Macau and Mentally take on Respawn for the tag titles. And we have the main event of Jaquan versus the Blue Neck. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are ready for 2K20. I'm ready. I know we all are. Because the next two episodes are going to be crucial. I hope you guys are ready for this. Let's start the show. Yeah, so I'm facing off with Gorgie tonight, and I can't wait. Because I'm going to destroy Gorgie, and I'm going to get Noose and Baratheon to go to WrestleMania. And Team Neck is here to confront AJ. We've known their beef with AJ Smith, despite, uh, you know, the whole thing between AJ and Blue Neck, Mr. Black, all that going on there. So we're about to hear from Team Neck tonight here. Yeah, I'm going to be in a match with Gorgie next, so you guys are going to get a little Newsom Baratheon commentary. I hope you all enjoy it. I'm going to try to get Newsom to get, uh, have a position in the Money in the Bank match because Mr. Purple Hair uh, doesn't deserve his place in WrestleMania. He needs to be a free agent. Nobody wants him. Nobody. WTF doesn't even want it. Well, if it ain't for AJ Smith. Well, guess what, AJ? I want to say something to you. As the Blue Neck. As Team Neck representing. I want to say this. I apologize how I treated you. Now, that doesn't mean that I like mentally. Because I'm not going to apologize to him or Macau. Because I don't like him. And I never will like him. But I may have wronged you. And even though I'm the best, the best sometimes, every once in a while, will make a mistake. So, I apologize for how I treated you. I'm not apologizing to anybody else but you. Because you looked out for me. Even when my dad didn't, you did. And I want to thank you for that. Your apology is accepted, definitely, Blue Neck, and I appreciate you apologizing, and I know that you and Mentally May and Macau may never see eye to eye, but I just want you to know that I appreciate your apology, and I wish you the best of luck tonight on the eight-man ladder match, and of course, I wish you 
the best of best luck tonight against Jaquan. Because Jaquan is like an opponent you've never faced before at Blue Neck. You have to be careful. You have to. He is going to play off of every weakness that you have. And you've got to be careful. That being said, I do accept your apology. You are the best. There's no one questioning that. No one has earned the titles that you have on this channel. But, good luck tonight. That's all I gotta say. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nusen Barafia here. And I am going to commentate King Chrysler's uh, match tonight. I will only be commentating this one match. I know a lot of you all miss me, but... And I miss you guys. I really, really do. I do. But uh, Ken's fighting for me tonight. He's going to try to take on Gorgie. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Gorgie's a pretty good opponent. Ken does have a point at the same time. I do deserve a money in the bank shot. I think I do. And Ken Chrysler is here. I hope he hasn't bit off more than he can chew. Be careful, Ken. He's a tricky one. He's a quick one, too. He's one of the fastest wrestlers in this company. And Ken's getting cocky. And here comes Gorgie, former Cruiserweight Champion. He was a very big back in the day. He's been wrestling on the Macau program since SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, before the channel even started. He's been around for a while. Over, uh, over 12 years. Over 13, actually. He's never won a world title, though. No world title for Gorgie. And I hope King Chrysler, I hope he can overcome the obstacle tonight and get me a shot at WrestleMania at that Money in the Bank contract. I would love to have a Money in the Bank. Cash it in any time. Very good deal. Very good. And here we go. Uh oh. And Ken, he's got a couple moves. He's been training with me. Okay. Gorgie's got very. He's a very fan. He's one of those more style over substance. You. It's not all about style, though. But he's definitely got style. You can't always put style over substance. It depends on the match. He's a he's a very fast competitor. He's got some very pretty moves. I would say his moves are very pretty. Oh. That has to hurt. And look again. Oh man. That's going to leave a mark. And this is a two out of three falls. So no lucky pin. You got to get two. 
or submission. Two out of three. A lot of these matches are knockouts or two out of three falls. And King, look here, oh man. And Ken going for that very good submission. It's a very effective one. This is a Falls Count Anywhere match as well. And Gorgi does not tap. He gets out of it. He's seen very, very many moves like that before. I don't know if King Christ has seen a move like this one though. Look here. This is one of Gorgie's big moves. I love this move. It's a very good move. Very good. And here he goes again. He's gonna... Ooh. Ken. This does not look good. And Ken Chrysler with a beautiful kick out there. I don't know how he got out of it. Two back to back. Very big moves by Gorgi. Oh, nice kick by Gorgi. But I'm hoping Chrysler wins. I really do. I need this match. Oh! And Ken going for the pin. And a kick out. And uh oh, here's that submission again. Ken keeps on applying it. He could eventually get it. No pinfall, but Gorgi gets out of it again, but his arm is hurting him. You can tell. And Ken's bleeding. And uh oh, here comes Ken. He got a fall. Ken got a fall. Oh my goodness. Congratulations to Ken Chrysler there with the uh, fall. It's one to zero. And uh oh, here comes Gorgie though. And Gorgie's gonna go for the pin. And a kick out there by Chrysler.
And look again, using his strength. And uh oh, here's that submission again. He keeps on applying it. Uh oh, I'm going to WrestleMania! Yay! Ken Chrysler wins in a flawless victory. Congratulations, Ken. I'm gonna make sure I say thank you to King Chrysler for uh, making my dreams come true. I'm going to WrestleMania. Money in the Bank match. It's gonna be very good. I can't wait. Tonight. Tonight. Congratulations to Ken, and I'm gonna talk to him in a second. Ken, congratulations on your match. Thank you, Newson. I told you I'd win. Ha ha ha. Um, uh, enjoy your Money in the Bank match tonight. Good luck. I hope you win the Money in the Bank, and then I hope you cash it in and win the World Championship. Well, that's my goal, Ken. That's my goal. Anything I owe you, um, just get me some Tortitos and a Coke. That'd be great. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. Thank you. Oh, what did I tell you all? Ah. A little bit sweaty, but that's it. I took a little Mr. Purple. Uh, Mr. I like that. I like to dye my hair purple. I took him down. He dyes his hair different color every every 2K. It's just like ridiculous, bro. I told you all. He is not. He is a mediocre wrestler. It a guy that commentates me. I commentate all day long. That's all I do for a living. I kicked his butt. I beat him. Two to zero. It wasn't two to one. It was two to zero. He didn't stand a chance against the Chrysler. Yeah. He might beat me in a hair dyeing contest, but that's about it. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, what needs to happen is Gorgie needs to be fired. He has not been productive. He has not been productive. He just lost to a commentator. So how does that feel, Gorgie? I hope you're listening. Probably back there crying with a box of tissues with your sister. She doesn't win either. She can't win a match to save her life. Ah. And anyway, we're going to kick off with the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Um, that guy doesn't seem happy. You want me to beat you up next? Yeah, that's what I thought. And here comes Harambe and his motorcycle. And the, he's the Intercontinental Champion, if you guys weren't aware. I don't know if he got that. I think he got that motorcycle from back pay after what happened to him. So, <laughs> everyone's excited to see Harambe. And he's parked his bike, but we're going to tow it and charge him for it. <laughs> You just wait and see. That bike will be gone before his entrance is done, I bet. Or a little bit after. Yeah, it's still there. Uh, we'll see. It'll be gone soon. Don't you worry. You're going to pay a fee for every time you do that on this channel. The tow truck people, they don't play around. See, it's already gone. They're good, man. The Intercontinental title is on the line. I know you guys love it when I say on the line. That's right. I'm feeling great tonight. We only got two episodes remaining. And our main event tonight will be Jaquan versus the Blue Neck. Of course, Blue Neck's going to be in two fights tonight. He's going to be in a ladder match as well. So I don't know if that's smart on the Blue Neck's part. Going up against Jaquan main event, but being in a ladder match as well for the Money in the Bank contract. He'll be joining... Uh, uh, Philip Martin's got two matches. And uh, he's doing his... He's fighting Robert Man in the next episode. So... I mean, I don't know if this is a good idea, and, you know, I just don't know. And the Intercontinental title up for grabs, Harambe taking a look at it. Yeah. Hawks confirming it's a real title. It wasn't off of eBay. Okay, cool. So, we also got McCallum mentally in action against Respawn. 
Uh, what else do we have tonight? We have uh, Grandson, Dumbbell, and Thanos. United States title on the line. And we got this match. So, pretty good night. Tomorrow night, or the next episode, whichever it may be, uh, we'll have uh, uh, Tina Toronto versus Mary Mackey. We're going to have Philip Martin, Martin versus Robber Man. Uh, we're going to have Madman Mars versus the Crimson Ninja. And we're going to have Jeff versus Vortox. Only five matches on the second part. Uh, six tonight. And we're kicking it off already. And here we go. Look at that. Oh, look at Arambi. He's really strong coming into this. We've seen a bunch of those super heavyweights from Vita. Of course, Arambi had to evacuate his home after uh, what happened when uh, uh, Vita, when Vita basically has exploded. So, a bunch of people got hurt, but um, Brodkus, of course, didn't make it out. Somehow, Jeff did. We don't know how. They did take, uh, Brodkus did, uh, Achieve of taking out Bro um, taking out Joshua, which is a key piece of the Warlords. So, um, rest in peace to Brodkus. It's a shame Freak Nation has come to an end on 2K19, and hopefully we have we'll, we'll sign some more people to replace Freak Nation. But I mean, Freak Nation's been around since SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, um, as long as Gorgi. Except for they're they're effective, unlike Gorgi. Um, and it's sad. It's, it's just absolutely sad that, you know, that I know they were getting older and stuff, but they're irreplaceable at the end of the day. Especially Mr. Black. Um, so, hopefully next year we'll see some new uh, teams emerge, some uh, new uh, uh, wrestlers emerge. Um, I know now the 2K20, um, CTL has, Clifford Welch, has brought over Mark Wildhawk. Uh, himself an old twig. Thank goodness they got rid of the twig. Send him to CTL. Of course, I got to commentate that too. So, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to see the old man no matter what. Um, however, there is a stipulation on Paul Weiss with his, um, with his uh, contract. If Paul Weiss wins money in the bank tonight, um, he's not going to CTL. He gets to stay to FLH. But if he loses, which is a 1 in 8 chance he's going to win, um, he goes to CTL. So, it, it's basically an I quit match for FLH, but except for you're in an eight-man ladder match, not a one-on-one. -on -one. So, uh, that's kind of scary. Also, they're going to have mixed mix match challenges. So, we are we might have a mixed match challenge champion. Of course, the titles will be delayed. And a kick out there by the Hawk. We'll see. Oh, Harambi. What a nice move there. And he's going to go for the pin. And a kick out by the Hawk. Again. Harambi sitting on the Hawk now. Ooh, that never feels good. I mean, why would you scratch someone's back, though? It's just, I, I don't get that move. Unless you got some long fingernails. I, I get it Freddy Krueger did it. I don't get why they do that. And a kick out there by Harambe. So, I believe this is two out of three falls. I, I'm not for sure. Look at the Hawk. This is a submission. What is he doing to Harambe? What's going on? Is he sticking his finger in his eye? I think that's illegal. 
a lot of these guys think this is Mortal Kombat. This is not Mortal Kombat, guys. If you if you don't like how how wrestling rules goes around here, maybe you should sign with Mortal Kombat. And uh oh, look here though, good submission in place. I know for a while uh, uh, Spawn wasn't happy with how we ran things. He went to Mortal Kombat for a while. Ha yeah, yeah, until he got his heart ripped out a couple times, and now now he's back here. Because you know th those things just don't go away. Oh man, and the Hawk with the King of the Swing. And nice counter by Harambe there. And Harambe going for a pin. That's like an elbow pin. And it works. He wins. Wow. So Harambe's already won. I, I get he might have got a fall already, or it might have just been a, a one fall. I don't keep track of these things. You guys know I'm irresponsible. So, yeah, I, I don't keep... Well, he sat on the hawk. Maybe, well, no, he didn't go for a pin there. You guys can tell me in the live chat. I don't care. This this, this match is the least of my worries. We got every match. This is the smallest match we have with the biggest people. So... So, Robbie retains. Hawk had a couple good moves in there. I'm kind of shocked to Robbie won that quick. But whatever. He's a, he retains the Intercontinental title. Like I said, this is not going to decide a lot of things. And Harambe remains your champion. And here's your eight-man ladder match. This is going to be good. Lurts Nick from left to right. Lurts Nick, Guan, Paul Weiss, Rico Sanchez, Blue Neck, Gory X, Newson, by the way, and Philip Martin. So, a lot of competitors here. All these guys uh, could easily get a world championship. Um, especially if they win that money in the bank contract. That, that'd be a humongous deal for them. So, eight-man ladder match. Well, wait. Actually, it's a battle royal. You know why? Uh, the, the winner will win money in the bank, let me just say. It's an eight-man battle royal because ladder matches are so stupid on this system. That's why. Because ladder matches, they just look up at the ladder. Oh, that's why we set it to a battle royal. So now it's a battle royal. It was a ladder match. But, you know, they screw that up. So. There's only so much we can take on this channel. Blue Knack fighting his brother. He loves him dearly, but he'll beat the tar out of him. They're both like those two brothers that they'll fight each other, but, you know, they love each other still. And they're still a tag team. So don't get it confused when you see them fighting. They like to always outdo the other one. So this will be elimination match. Just remember, guys, uh, you may not see the Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, we actually have to now keep that um, away because um, people in the crowd have been stealing money in the bank contracts. I don't know why. Well, they steal anything at this point. They're a bunch of thieves in the crowd. But um, we can't have the money in the bank after the match. We can only have it when it's, you know, in a good position away from these people. 
So just remember, guys, remember the winner is the money in the bank. He does not have to climb a ladder tonight. He's just got to survive eight an eight-man battle royal. So I think that's more intimidating than climbing a ladder. And oh, man, Lunak's little brother low blows him. And he's going to go for the pin. That is one of the most effective moves on this channel. There's no doubt about it. It's one of the most deadly ones. I mean, that's somebody you don't want to get a low blow from. It's like the worst low blow ever. And Philip Martin totally misses that. I'm going to try to keep track of everyone. And Paul Weiss has to win this or he goes to CTL. So, this match will determine that. Uh, uh, um, Clifford wasn't thinking about that when he introduced him to CTL this week. If he wins this match, he gets to stay with FLH. The odds aren't in his favor, though. And he's probably the weakest link. Of course, I got my boy Newsom in. I'm hoping he wins. That's who I'm rooting for. But you got all kinds of talent. Rico Sanchez, um, former world champion. Lurt Snicks won a few. Um, and uh-oh, Paul Weiss going for the pin here. And a kick out there by Guan. Guan and Paul Weiss always duking it out. Always a good rivalry there. And still people can get signed to CTL. It's not the whole, oh, Rico with a takedown. Uh, the whole thing is not set up yet. I mean, people can get signed still on FLH to CTL. We just got to look at the roster once it's done on 2K20. And guys, also, there won't be any episodes for a couple weeks probably. We're not going to rush it this time. And Rico, uh-oh, Blue Knight grabbed his leg. And Guan throws Lord Snick across the ring. And uh-oh. Lunex got Guan in a submission, and Guan gets out of it. No, I mean Rico. Goodness gracious. Getting people confused already. And there's Nick going for a pin. So, shocker, Guan is actually the first one out in this match. And uh-oh, Lunex just put a Boston Crab on uh, Paul Weiss. And Paul Weiss kicks out. Uh-oh, but look here. Oh, ref's not even paying attention to that submission. Kick out there by Rico, and Paul Weiss gets out of it anyway. He didn't tap. But look at Lurt's neck pinning Paul Weiss after the deadly submission, so his legs are tired. And Paul Weiss has been eliminated, so he will be going to CTL. And Newsom going for a pin. And he eliminates Rico. So Rico's been eliminated. So Paul Weiss, Rico, Guan all eliminated in this match. And we are down to five now. And look at Blue Knight getting out of Lurt's Nick's uh, maneuver there. I'm rooting for Newsom. Whoever wins this will be money in the bank. They can cash it in whenever they want. I don't suggest them cashing it in at tomorrow, though, or the next episode. I, 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 I honestly, I, they probably, that would be the worst idea ever. To get in the middle of Jeff and Vortox. That'd be really stupid. And did Blue Knight get eliminated? I think he did. Oh my goodness. Blue Knight has been eliminated. We're down to four. Hmm. This is interesting. I can see any of these people being a good money in the bank contender. Blue Knight still has another match to go against Jaquan. He is not. Uh, I mean, Blue Knight. 
this year. This has not been the blue next year, for sure. There's no doubt in my mind about it. Hopefully next year, um, he's going to have a good year. I know sometimes people are sick of seeing him as champion, but it's kind of weird seeing him lose a lot. He's lost a lot, and AJ said, AJ said he's the best, but uh, that's kind of debatable at this point right now. Because, I mean, Nuisance won a lot. Um, and then you got Four Tox. A couple other great greats in there involved. Some of these guys are pretty good. And Gory X out, uh, outlasts his brother tonight. And Nuisen kicks out. Come on, Nuisen. Lurs Nick drops Philip Martin. What a nice drop there. Rock bottom. And a kick out there by Philip. Lurt's Nick trying to get Philip Martin to tap out here. Referee, I don't know why he's getting as far away from this match as possible. He better not be flirting with the girls again in the crowd. We warned him. He's got to be professional when he does this job. And here comes Newsom. Oh, man, he's lined this one up great. Uh-oh. Gory. Oh, feels that. Newsom going for the submission. Referee's right on it. Well, we'll see. See if he can get the submission here. And he gets out of it. Wow. And a spine buster there by Lurt's neck on Newsom. These four have been very efficient in this match. And uh-oh, Newsom setting up a finisher for Gory X. And Newsom's going for the pin here. He's got it. Newsom. Eliminate Scory X, so we're down to three. Philip Martin, Lord Snick, and Newsom. What if Philip Martin pulls this off tonight? What it, wouldn't that be a crazy upset? One you never saw coming? So we're down to, uh-oh, look at Lord Snick. Rock bottoms Newsom. Oh, no. And Lord Snick. Oh, my goodness. It's down to him and Philip Martin. So Newsom's out. Can Philip Martin pull this off or will it be Lurt's neck is the question.
And there's Nick. Oh, totally misses there. Oh, man. And Lord Snake with a clothesline. And Lord Snake's getting a pin. And a kick out there by Philip Martin. And Philip and Lurch and Nick are battling it out. Who's going to win it? Man, Philip Martin throwing some hooks there. And Lurch Nick, oh, look here. Oh, man, rock bottoms, Philip Martin. Oh, man. I think it's over. I think we got our new Mr. Money in the Bank, and it is Lurch Nick. Oh, man, that's going to be dangerous. He hasn't had a world title in forever. Like, at least five years. I mean, wouldn't that be big for him? He Now, we're not going to show the Money in the Bank contract. Because we're afraid it's going to get stolen. You know, Jericho's championship got stolen at AEW. So, Lurch Nick could easily lose his contract. So, we're not going to show it here tonight. We'll show it on 2K20. If that's available. And the United States title in this match is on the line. And uh, this is between Thanos and Grandson Dumbbell. And Thanos, of course, uh, infuriated by the fact that the Warlords... Um, you know, they, they really hurt Draven and Punisher and Stay Puff and Venom. They can't go to WrestleMania because they're in the hospital with uh, because they got shot. Uh, so, yeah, it's because the Warlords here. And, of course, the Vita Community Creations are really upset. All the Community Creations are on uh, Vortox's team right now. So, against Jeff... And who could blame them? They don't feel safe anymore. It used to be community creation. The whole battle between Macau's people and Jeff's people. That was between Macau's people and Jeff's people. But now the community creations got involved. And now they're in the middle of it. And of course they're going to side with uh, Vortox and them. And Macau and all the, you know, the good people. Because, even if they're bad. Because you know they, they, they're fearing uh, the warlords. And of course Thanos has also had some... Uh, bad luck with these guys as well, so uh, that will give him some motivation in this match. We'll see if he can beat Grandson Dumbbell, who is undefeated, by the way. This is a first blood match, and we all know how hard it is. We've seen Infinity War. We know how hard it is to make Thanos bleed. The guy's got skin as, as hard as a rock. I mean, but if anybody could do it, Grandson Dumbbell could. Uh, but Thanos is ticked. He's got a lot of motivation coming into this match. And, oh man, punch to the face. And, uh-oh, Thanos and Grant, uh-oh, look at this. And Thanos, oh my goodness, unleashing his wrath on Grandson Dumbbell. Oh, wow. What a match up here. And Thanos with the choke slam there. Good choke slam there for Thanos.
And this is a first blood match. So all it takes is a, uh, for someone to bleed and the, the other person will win the United States title. So it's a big match here. And uh-oh, Thanos, oh, we totally missed it. And Grandson Dumbbell with the kick to the head. And uh-oh. Look here, oh man, Spine Buster. And doing a little bit of show off right there. I don't know if that's a good idea against Thanos. Oh man, these two are just, you know, they're about as tall, the same height. They're giants. And we've had a couple giants fight tonight. And uh-oh, look at Grandson Dumbbell. Look at here. Oh man, definitely one of the top notch warlords. And oh man, another headshot there. He's never lost. And here comes the choke slam. And Thanos, oh, elbows to the head. And that was a big game changer there. And Thanos with a kick to the head now. And look here. Oh my goodness, a punch to the back of the head. And Thanos with another strike to the head. And uh-oh, here comes Grandson Dumbbell. And these two are wrestling, uh, wrestling around here. And I don't know what's going to happen. And Thanos still, he can't still make him bleed. And uh-oh. Uh-oh, look here. Oh, another punch to the face. He's hit him in the head so many times. Oh, he missed that punch, though. But he uh, comes around with that clothesline, and he's going to go for it again. And he misses the punch again. How can you miss that punch? Oh, man, look there, though. And look here, oh, DDT there. That is not a good move for the head. And grandson definitely teasing Thanos there. But Thanos is still doing a very good job here tonight. He's heated up, you can tell. Another strike. These two are going back and forth now. Oh, man. Look at Thanos. Oh, man. This is going to hurt. This is a lot of weight. Oh, man. Another big move. Grandson trying to roll away. I think he's bit off more than he could chew here. Thanos giving him some time to get back in the ring. Oh, nice reversal. In the air, too. And, oh, what a big move. Once again. I don't know who's going to win this match. These guys are top notch. And this time he delivers the choke slam, but the choke slam is going to do him no good in the first blood match. But look at that. Oh, that might.
And another DDT. Oh my goodness. Another DDT on Thanos. And still no blood from either man. And Grandson Dumbbell with the choke slam. And look, oh my goodness, oh man. Is that a tea bag? What in the world? <laughs> They gotta connect some of these punches, otherwise they're gonna lose. Dano's grabbing Dumbbell by the throat, and he's gonna give him a choke slam now. And an elbow drop. Look at Thanos going to work. Oh my goodness. And look, he throws out Dumbbell there. And look at Thanos. He wins. Oh my goodness, Dumbbell's been defeated. Thanos wins and he will be your United States Champion. What a match between these two and Dumbbell has finally been defeated and that was a tough fight he could have went either way Thanos I felt like did have the upper hand in most of the match that did it oh my goodness and Thanos with a shot to the head again. Oh, man. This is after the match. The heck? And, oh, another shot to the skull. Oh, he's going to take him out. Oh, my goodness. I, Anthony warned Joshua. He said the biggest mistake he made was making these community creations mad. And now you're going to pay for it. And oh my goodness, Thanos is not playing around. He's going to take Dumbbell out completely. And look here. This is the kill shot. Dumbbell's gone. Oh my goodness, Thanos takes out the whole ring. We'll rebuild it real quick for the next match. Dumbbell's done. He's dead. So that leaves Anthony, Jaquan, Robbie, Quantra, and Jeff. That's one down. Oh man, Thanos did uh, McCall and them a favor. Is he alive? Yeah, Thanos is alive. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, I hope he didn't take himself out there. But that's uh, that's game over for grandson. So he's done. And now we're here on our tag team match. This is the fifth match out of six tonight. We've got a long episode. It's going to be around an hour with the premiere, two minute premiere thing. Uh, probably almost an hour and 17. Around there. It's going to be around there. Hour and 20. Around there. You guys may see it different though if you aren't on the premiere. And Respawn's here, one of the greatest tag teams of all time, is in action tonight against McCallum mentally. 
Harambe with a big win tonight. Thanos with a big win. Uh, Thanos is your new United States champion. Harambe retains. Um, Lurts Nick, Money in the Bank winner. And me, defeater of Gorgie. So, a lot, a lot going on. And here comes Mikael and Minnelly. Mike and Minnelly are here. The tag champions. Of course, Minnelly will be defending his cruiserweight title against Blade. Um, he'll defend it against Blade, which is going to be a great match indeed. And the tag champions are here. So, a lot going on. Mikhail's got a lot on his mind. It's not just about these titles, this WrestleMania. Jeff will be here on the second episode. I don't know how he survived, though. Mikhail says he's still alive. I don't know how. How could a, how could a man survive that? Nobody could survive what happened to Vita. Rockus didn't survive, so how could he? Joshua's no longer there either. So, Vita just got... It's, it's, it's ashes right now. And maybe we'll rebuild it 2K21. Who knows? But the tag titles are on the line. It's two out of three falls. No exiting the ring. It's going to be a good one. McCall and Mentally are definitely prepared. Um... This is going to be a good matchup. You got Respawn. And of course, Nemesis is a super heavyweight. So, uh, he's going to be a threat for Mikhail mentally. But they're quick. They're quick. So, it's... Uh, Spawn's the, the best balance. You know, he's a little bit of a heavyweight. Uh, but he's fast, too. So, he's the best balance. And the tag titles are on the line. And here we go. And... Uh-oh, look at Spawn here. Oh, Macau with a nice reversal. These are possibly the two greatest tag teams on. It's debatable who the greatest tag is. You guys could put it in the premiere, our greatest tag, uh, whatever you want. I mean, on the channel and stuff, but... I mean, greatest tag, uh, uh, is it Mike and Mentally? Is it Respawn? Is it uh, San Diego Twins? Is it the Hunters? Is it the Ballman's Bureau? You know, it just goes on and on. And then you got CTL tags. You got the Destroyers, three-time uh, tag champions. Ferocious Bears won a bunch. Um, game over. It, it just, uh, uh, Toxic Darkness. Uh, unsubscribe and Die. The list goes on and on. I mean, RK Savos Army. It's just unreal. We've done so much with the tag, uh, with tag teams over the years. Me and Newsom, former tag champions as well. Let me remind you all. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's been so many tag teams. It's unreal. And mentally, I don't know how he. Oh, he reaches it somehow. I don't know how he was going to reach that kick. Mentally going for the pin there. Spawn is down. Referee's just looking dazed and confused. And Mentally should have got the pin. But whatever. 
Referee's dazed and confused. And Bacow with a knee to the head. Wow, they're doing good. Bacow going for the pin. And a kick out there by Spawn. Now Macau going for the submission. And once again, Nemesis is down. We'll spawn tap. And uh, he gets out of it. So, wow. And look at Nemesis. Oh, man. He's got like a claw locked in or mentally. That's a submission right there. Cal's not can't save him, but mentally gets out of it. And mentally once again going for the pin. Spawn. And he gets it. Because Spawn was in the middle of his move. And Spawn's ticked. It's one to nothing. Mike and mentally are in the lead. Nemesis going for the pin. Uh oh. And a kick out there. It's one to nothing. The champs are in the lead. Let's see if Mentally can reach that kick again, and that does not work. He's bleeding now. She probably shouldn't wear glasses in the ring, but whatever. He don't care. I think the top of, well, Nimbus's head, the top of it looks weird anyway. I thought it was bleeding the top of his head. hit Macau on accident. Oh man, Nemesis. Oh man, Nemesis lays out mentally. And uh-oh. Oh, a kick out there by mentally. Man, this respawn is vicious, man. They're not going down without a fight. They just got to get a fall. They got to get some control in this match. And, and look at Spawn here. Oh, and mentally connects. And mentally going for the pin. He broke up that one. He's got it. Wow, what a great tag team. It's one of the greatest of all time. There's no doubt about it. No absolute doubt about it. I mean, mentally saved Macau there from the pin. They would have got the pin, and then he did the kick. That was amazing. And they retained. So we got uh, two people retained tonight, them and Harambe. With the big retains. Next match is going to be a brutal fight between Joquan and the Blue Neck. I don't know what's going to happen. AJ Smith warned Blue Neck, be careful. We don't know what Joquan's going to try to do. Mentally, I don't know what the future has in store for us. I know we're the, one of the greatest tag teams ever. We're the greatest on the channel, no doubt about it. But I just want you to know, no matter what happens on the next episode, that you were always the brother that I never had.
and I and I love you like a brother. I always wish I had a brother. And to call you my friend, I, you're more than a friend. You're the brother that I never had. And I just want to tell you, no matter what happens, I want you to remember that tomorrow. I want you to always remember that. If something happens to me, I want you to remember that. Mikal, you and I are two peas in a pod. We're Siamese twins, whatever, however you say that word. I can't say it. We're, we cannot be separated, okay? We won't be separated. We're going to fight him together. We're going to fight this together. Remember, I told you years ago, any enemy that stands before you and I will go down by the wrath of us. And you don't need to be worried because I'm not afraid of Jeff. I'm not afraid of him at all. And ladies and gentlemen, it is our last match of the night. Hell in a Cell match. And Blue Neck better be prepared. Jaquan definitely wants revenge after what Mr. Black did to Willie. Willie died at SummerSlam because Mr. Black took him out. And rightfully so. So, the thing that stopped Mr. Black from getting to Jeff was Blue Neck. But now Blue Neck, Mr. Black can't protect him anymore. So this is going to be a match and a half. I don't know what's going to happen. And Blue Neck is here. The My Life Matters movement is here. We saw a little bit of compassion from Blue Neck tonight. We did. We saw a little bit, a tiny bit. For AJ Smith. He apologized for all the stuff he said about him. Uh, but still no love for mentally in Macau. As usual. <laughs> um, he doesn't like mentally. If you guys want a history lesson. Because uh, his dad favored mentally. But that's because mentally's dad died. Mentally's dad died. And he was best friends with Blue Neck's dad. So Blue Neck's dad's like. He, has, he feels like he has an obligation to take care of. You know. So that was the whole issue there. And he always felt like he was the favorite even over his own blood. So, yeah. He's still not over that. But I, I was shocked that he apologized to AJ Smith. I was absolutely shocked. He finally put his ego to the side. And here comes Jaquan. Oh man, he's got the armor... He's got the armor on his arms. Oh my goodness. Jaquan is a very deadly warlord. He's probably third in command. Oh my goodness. I'd say it's Jeff Anthony Jaquan. So he's third in command. Of course, they've taken out Willie, who was fourth. Mr. Sledge was third at a the time. They took him out. And here comes Jaquan. One war warlord is already uh, dead tonight. And five remain. Five of the big ones at least. We don't know what else is out there, you know. There could be other things out there we don't even know about. X-Patient came back, I mean. If you guys didn't watch CTL, he's back. Even though he doesn't consider himself one, he was exiled from him. They said he was too crazy. How can you be too crazy? Like, goodness gracious. Uh, he just didn't abide by the rules. A lot of you guys were wondering if he wasn't. The Savos clones, they're just his creations. So he's cloning people. That's some old guy, too. If you ever notice Savos, he's, a, he's an old guy. So he probably just stole some old guy out of the nursing home and cloned him a hundred times. Like, goodness gracious. <laughs> And Jaquan, oh, what a move. Cloned him, made him, uh, steroid him up, and put metal in his face. That's how crazy this guy is. No wonder they didn't want him. <laughs> but here comes Jaquan. And he's the problem for tonight. Blue Neck's got to find a way to stop him. Oh, man. 
He's dominating, Blue Neck. He is strong with that armor one. I don't even know how he's... Of course, they don't play by the rules. Who would care anyway? The referee gets involved. He'll just... The referee will die. And, oh, man, Blue Neck. He's fighting back. Oh! He's fighting back there, but... Squad throws him around. He's trying to break him through the cell. Oh, what a nice counter. Oh my goodness. This guy's unreal. What is he trying? I mean, he's trying to break the cell, but the cell won't break, obviously. He's having some issues with that. Oh my goodness. He just he keeps on hitting him up against the cell. And there you go. Oh man, Blue Knight goes through the cell now. He is dominating this fight, Jaquan is. He's definitely thinking about Willie, his best bud that Mr. Black killed at SummerSlam. Blue Neck fighting back. And look at these two uh, duking it outside here. And uh-oh, this is going on top of the cell. Oh no. Blue Neck, be careful. Don't. Oh my goodness. And Jaquan, DDT. On top of the cell. Oh man, that's a headshot right on top of the cell there. This guy is deadly. Blue Neck cannot fight this guy. He's unreal. Oh my goodness. Oh! No! Oh my goodness, Blue Neck! No way! Is he alive? That ended quickly. He went through the cell. Oh my, oh my goodness. We can't see it. Oh my goodness, he's, he's unconscious. He might be dead. Oh my goodness. There's no way. This guy right here. He's not moving. He's not moving, ladies and gentlemen. But look here. Blue Neck's little brother. Look here. Throws Shaquan off the cell. Oh, man. To his death. Kills Jaquan. Oh, man. Is Blue Neck okay, though? Blue Neck's gone. I don't know where he went. Oh, my God. He's moving his arms. He's moving his arm. You see that? Yes! Yes! He's okay, but he, he's in bad shape. Jaquan's dead. Blue Neck's little brother took care of him. Blue Neck's moving his arms. He's in bad shape, but he's okay. Oh my goodness. Stay tuned for episode two. Goodness gracious.